Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to just go through how you can get Archimy installed and get up and running using it. Um, we won't be, I won't be setting it up to monitor traffic in real time. Instead, be looking at using Archimy to process PCAPs. So there are sort of two modes that you can run Archimy in. Um, Archimy, if you're not familiar, is a large scale open source indexed packet capture and search tool. So whether you're ingesting traffic through PCAP or through listening live traffic over one of your network interfaces, it's going to index the vast majority of that traffic and then through its user interface will allow you to search through it. So it's a very powerful tool. Um, and if you haven't used it before, I, I, you know, you're, you're, you're looking at something that is, if you're analyzing network traffic on a regular basis, could probably be something very helpful for your toolkit. Um, in order to get started, we're gonna go ahead and download. Um, I'm using the latest version of Remnix. And if you look at the version information, this is built off of Ubuntu 18.04. So this can help us in that we can just look for pre-built binaries for Ubuntu 8.04. So I'm going to go ahead and download that and use uh, DPKG in order to install it. So there are some different routes you can go. Of course, if you have different flavor of Linux, uh, you can look at what's available here. Um, you can try building from source and some other options. But uh, again, um, since this is Ubuntu, we're going to go ahead and install using the uh, the, uh, the pre-built binaries. Okay, as you can see, I already have that .deb package downloaded. So we'll use uh, sudo dpkg-i and that package name. And this will go ahead and get the installation going. Uh, while that's running, you can also find uh, there's instructions. That's what I opened here in this other tab. And this is going to walk you through uh, you know, basically the, the minimal steps to get Archimy up and running. So once it's downloaded, uh, we've already done that. We're installing the package, so that's the second step. And now you want to go ahead and run the configuration script. Okay, we can see now that the installation is complete and they provide also that same uh, installation instructions that we're looking at under opt archimy readme.txt and they're also encouraging us to run the configuration script. So we'll go ahead and just run that. Okay, it's warning us that we need to be the root user to do that. Um, now it's telling or asking for interfaces. Uh, you can see that it actually lists those for us. So ENS33 is the interface that we'll listen to. If we were setting this up to actually monitor our traffic in real time, we just wanna pick the interface then that we wanted to monitor. In this case, I'm going to do PCAPs, and this will be the interface that those, um, those PCAPs will be replayed against. Um, next step is an Elasticsearch server. So this is really going to depend on what you're after. Um, if, you're, if you want to set it up locally, you just have to make sure that your system has the resources necessary in order to do that. And um, it is elastic, so it does tend to be memory hungry. Um, and it says at least three gigs of memory. You can definitely experiment with that as a minimum. Maybe bump it up a little bit more if you're running into problems. Oftentimes, if I run into problems with Archimy, it's likely due to you know, my elastic cluster and resource issues. So you know, always look at that as sort of a first step in any sort of troubleshooting that you have to do. Um, I am not going to set this up locally. So if you said yes here, this would install Elasticsearch locally. And then all of your, your traffic that's being indexed by Archimy would be submitted to that cluster. Again, running locally on that VM. Um, for me, though, I do have a cluster that I'm going to utilize. And all you have to do then is input the URL, the host, and then the, the port, the default port for Elastic 9200. Um, I'm going to leave the defaults for here. Actually, I'll put in a default file. Um, I don't have a MaxMind account off the top of my head here, so we'll say no. Um, and now it looks like the configuration is set up. Um, again, we have some additional steps here. And these should... Oh, let me, step four, configure script, can install Elastic. And if we go back to here, right, we're just kind of picking up for this installation. So they just move that to that kind of that post configuration script for you. So we don't need to start Elastic. Now, if we allowed the installation to, to install Elastic for us, we could use system CTL just to make sure that that was installed. So let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, system CTL status and then Elastic search dot service. Okay, again, I don't have it installed, but that would tell you the status of the Elasticsearch service. And if it was not running or active, then we would, you just want to go ahead and, and tell it to start. Okay. All right, next step. 
So we need to initialize or upgrade the Archimede configuration. So again, uh, first install, which in this case it is, I'm gonna grab this command, we'll just copy that in. If you were updating it, you'd have an option to update or upgrade, try to you know, preserve the existing data that's already in your Archimede or Elastic cluster that you're, that's being used for Archimede. Uh, we do need to provide then the ES host, so that would be localhost if you installed locally, or for me, uh, my actual cluster, and we'll just tell it to init. This will erase everything. Um, it looks like I actually have Archimede already installed in that cluster. That's no problem. I wasn't I wasn't using it, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to init. So it identified that there was an index there for Archimede, and then prompted me so that I didn't destroy anything. Okay, looks like it's good. It's erased, created, and now finished. So we can move on to the next step. Next step is to add an administrative user. So this is someone that you will, uh, an account that you will use to log in, at least an admin account. Of course, as your usage of Archimede increases, uh, you may want to add additional users, those different users because they have different permissions and different roles. So you do have some capability for that, but we do need to start with at least an admin user. So as you can see here, uh, name is admin, The just a note, what, what, who is this account belong to, the admin user, um, our password, and then a flag, a command line argument to get that admin user set up. Okay, next thing is to start. So we have two services, uh, the Archimede Capture Service and the Archimede Viewer Service. Also using um, systemctl, we do need to be root in order to start these. So uh, typically you can start typing and hit your uh, tab key twice in order to do some autocomplete. Um, we don't actually need, so let's look at the status first. We don't actually need the Capture Service to be running. And the reason why is that if we if we use its offline capability to process a PCAP, then all we need to do is, is actually invoke this capture service manually, telling it what PCAP to read, and then it'll do all of the work of indexing it for us. We'll see that in the viewer. If we wanted to start monitoring traffic on the interface that we selected, so I, I chose ENS33, then we would want to start the capture service, and that'll start then monitoring that traffic and indexing it. So we don't need to do that. Um, the viewer service though, we do need to have set up and we do need to have that running because the viewer will allow us then to look at essentially the, the data that's being indexed for us. So here you can see after starting it, we check the status and now it's at, at an active or a running status. So we go back to our instructions here. You can see we have log files, so if we had any errors with those with the viewer starting, we could check there. If we were starting the capture service, we could also check that, so opt Archimede logs. And then finally, our, we can go to our Archimede host, so localhost 8005. Okay, um, use the credentials that you set up. So if you followed the, the default, it was, I think, lowercase admin, and then I just use password, password. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, and now you're into Archimede. So now you can see that you've got the interface here. Um, we won't go through all the details of the interface because uh, trying to just keep this video focused on the installation, but you'll find it's pretty intuitive. So in order to get data then, the next thing we'll do is actually run a PCAP through it, just so you can see, um, you know, kind of start to finish. Okay, uh, to help get started then with processing the PCAP, I have a, a little script that's available as a gist. And it, it just expects one argument, that'll be the PCAP file that you'll be wanting to ingest. Uh, it checks for that file, although it doesn't validate that it's a PCAP file, so just keep that in mind. And then um, just real basic stuff here. We're going to first um, clear out the previous index. So again, that's something to be very, very aware of is that it is going to delete the index and any, any data that was there that Archimede is using. And the reason that I do that is just so that we can keep focused on the PCAP that we just processed. If you didn't want that to happen, then you can see here these lines that clear Archimede. Go ahead and comment those out or, or simply remove them. Next step is to process the PCAP. So we can use the capture service, but in this case, uh, we are just invoking it to process the PCAP file. So using a dash R argument. Um, there is some output there, but we're just going to redirect that to dev null. So if you need to do some troubleshooting because things aren't working with your setup, 
do comment out that line, the, the greater than dev null, and that'll allow you to look at some errors. You may have to run a couple of additional scripts. It's been kind of hit and miss on whether or not um, I had any additional configuration steps here. Um, finally, it restarts the Archimede viewer service. I had some issues in the past with uh, data just being, you know, data from previous um, PCAP runs uh, just being kind of left in the viewer. So this is just a way to hopefully help flush any of those caches or anything that's going on. And that's really it. So I uh, already have that script downloaded. You may need to, since you download it, if you download it through a browser or something, you may need to add the execute bit, which I've already done. Okay, and then the last thing we need to do is just invoke the script. Um, you might find that you get permission errors just due to how the capture service is running if you don't run it with the sudo command. Um, you know, again, you can get in there and, and really fine tune the permissions so that it runs exactly the way you want to. But since I'm using this for offline analysis to get these PCAPs in, I'm a little less concerned about that, at least for this demonstration. So I'll run the script with sudo. We provide it one argument then, which is our PCAP file. We have it clearing the previous data, uh, capturing that new PCAP, restarting the viewer. It also deletes. So as, as Archimy is ingesting PCAP, whether it's through PCAP, um, through a PCAP file, or it's you know pulling traffic live off the interface, it is archiving all of that in its own PCAP repository. So I also delete that. You'll see that in the script. And um, because this is ingesting into Elastic, you know, you do need to give it just a few seconds usually for the whole kind of environment to catch up. So now if we go back to Archimy, when we refresh, you should see that we have our traffic. Um, you may not see it initially, and again, because the timestamp that it's going to use will be from that PCAP. So if that PCAP's five years old, that's the timestamp it's using. If that PCAP was from yesterday, that's the timestamp it's using. It's not using it from right now when you ingested it. You might have to adjust your filter here. Um, little instance like this, not such a big deal. We can do all. Um, of course, if you were investigating, you know, using the viewer on a much larger instance, say, you know, you're collecting gigabytes or terabytes of data daily, then you do need to be a little bit more careful um, because that could have a performance impact overall on your, your Archimedes setup and your Elastic cluster. So this is it. Now we have all the data. Uh, now, in order to investigate this data, you know, that's kind of the next steps here. So this is just to get you up and started and running using Archimy. Um, but now you have this full interface and you'll see it, it's pretty intuitive, but uh, uh, stay tuned. I'll create some more videos here that will walk you through um, how to navigate the, the main components of the interface and, and just really make use of this very, very powerful and, and open source tool. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop those in the comments. Otherwise, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks.